everyone. Have you seen Jaden? Gracious God, thank you that you've offered us forgiveness and the gift of your life in you. Thank you that your love is perfect, it never fails, and that nothing can separate us from your love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best Friday ever, Mr. Corbin? Because DGTV is coming up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Good morning, Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Haley Taylor. And I'm Michael Holmes Colasar. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, November 2nd, and it's National Deviled Egg Day. And we have an excellent show for you today. This past week, Gorman students participated in the Alzheimer's Walk at Town Square. Jordan Sullivan has more. This Saturday, Bishop Gorman students participated in the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which was led by Miss Foy and Miss Andrews. We caught up with them to see how everything went. I was so very pleased with this year's turnout. I really am. Uh, I am so honored and uh, that we have such great students here. And we had a wonderful turnout. I believe we had a great time. And I am just so proud of Bishop Gorman's walkers. I'm so proud of Bishop Gorman School for backing us and you know for being with us to do so well at this uh, at this wonderful walk that we have and what we want to do i hope we're getting closer and closer is we want to end alzheimer's we had about 307 who came to the walk on a saturday we had a number of students also donate who weren't able to participate so we really appreciate everyone uh, both who participated and who also donated but weren't able to be there on saturday We've raised $4,127.15, and that's about $116 more than last year. So we, we beat our goal, and it's an amazing amount, really, and the Alzheimer's Association representatives uh, are very appreciative of Bishop Gorman High School, its students, its faculty, staff, and administration. Uh, obviously, for the donations, because that's important for research and um, ongoing care, but also just our strength in numbers uh, that we show by uh, being there every year in our uh, Bishop Gorman gear, Bishop Gorman orange, and uh, it really is a, a wonderful thing and, and something we can all be proud of as a community. We would like to thank everyone who participated in this year's walk. I'm Jordan Sullivan reporting for BGTV. It's really great to see our community come out in support of a great cause. In case you missed, the walk this <laughs> there's another chance to participate 
ALS is another disease that many Gorman students take action in spreading awareness. Ryan Tismaneski has more. Ava Foster and Andrew Garcia are two Bishop Gorman students that are helping to organize the ALS walk. BGTV interviewed them to find out more about this upcoming service opportunity. ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. Uh, it's 100% fatal. Uh, these people usually have two to five years to live. There are treatments, but uh, research um, is needed. Uh, these people start to lose the ability to speak, uh, walk, their systems start to shut down, and um, eventually, fatality. I hope that we create a community at Bishop Gorman to support this cause and find more research and to bring this to the following years. You can sign up at the walk at 1130 at Cornerstone Park. Um, make sure to bring a Gorman shirt, orange shirt preferably, uh, so we can um, have some school spirit. We're just trying to raise as much money as we can for um, ALS from the Gorman team. Uh, that's why we're trying to pack it all with orange shirts and show that you know we can be uh, supportive. Students need to donate at least $5 to participate. Three service hours can be received. If you have any questions, feel free to ask Andrew or Ava. Ryan Tismaneski, BGTV. These students are making a major difference while also taking charge of their service hours. As you all know, the deadline for service hours expired on Wednesday, but many students still need to catch up. Luckily for y'all, Nick Fonte has an inside scoop on service hours. Let's take a look. Michael Moorhead needed service hours, so he went to Mr. Urso and Mr. Urso suggested the Las Vegas rescue mission. It's only 30 minutes. It turns into you want to get there. You want to be able to experience what that day has to offer. And that completely has changed around my perspective on not only servers, but how we view life in general. Michael has been impacted by many people at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission, but one person has a special place in his heart. He was in the army, he got out, he came back home, he became homeless, became a drug addict. And he was the kind of guy that you cross the street to avoid because you're afraid he's gonna steal your wallet, and he would've. And he came to the mission, he got help, he got a job, now he has a home, and now he has a fiance. Liberty Perez is a sophomore girl, and she has over 350 service hours. She says that the key is to find your passion. Do something you would actually enjoy doing, because a lot of kids will just start, not put their heart into it, and then it feels more like a chore than it is. Liberty found her passion in helping senior citizens. I think it's just nice to see people that you help and they're happy to see you or every week when I go back to the senior living facility I see them same people and they're just so happy and they appreciate what you give them and the homeless people really appreciate all the services we provide. I'm Nick Fonte reporting for BGTV. Wow that's impressive guys. Students at Gorman have been excelling in all aspects including sports. Speaking of sports let's pass the ball over to Mia Nakamura. Mia? What's up, Gorman? Our boys' soccer team defeated Silverado 3-2 in the first game of playoffs. They ended up losing 1-0 to Durango the next game. Great season, boys. Our girls' soccer team beat Silverado 9-0 and Foothill 6-1. We have a few highlights from their game. Let's go take a look. I feel like our whole team has become a family just because we're with each other so much. <laughs> Definitely a lot of emotion because I've been playing on the for Bishop Gorman soccer for four years and it's coming to an end. So we just want to go out uh, with the with the win this year. We want to win state and just go out with a bang and make it the best year yet. Volleyball team defeated Liberty three to zero. Go support them as they play today at five at Coronado. The girls cross country team got second in regionals and qualified for state. Max Swenson qualified for state for the boys team. Let's roll the clip.
the state championship is tomorrow in Boulder City, so good luck. Lastly, our boys football team plays, plays today at Clark. Good luck, boys. That's all I have for you today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Mia Nakamura. Keep it real, BG. Thanks, Mia. Our ma marching band is amazing here at Gorman, and this weekend the band has a competition. Saturday, November 3rd, they perform at 10.44 a.m. at Las Vegas High School, and we want everyone to come out and support Company 54's last show of the season. We would also like to remind everyone to set your clocks back an hour this weekend and get that extra hour of sleep for daylight savings time. That's all we have for this week, Gorman. I'm Michael Holmes Colasar. And I'm Haley Taylor. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BGTV.